Hey everyone, this is a topic I haven't seen anyone else cover yet. What is the full range of distance a cue ball can have by only changing pocket sheet? I thought this would be an interesting topic to test out, so let's dive right in. Just in case, I'll give a brief explanation of what pocket sheet is. When we first start playing pool, we are taught to aim towards the middle of the pocket as this gives us the greatest margin of error to make a ball. But pocket sheet is to intentionally aim towards either side of the pocket. There are tons of situations where the skill is helpful to control your cue ball with minimal effort. I'll put a couple links in the description that show how to use it. This tiny detail of pocket sheet can have huge effects on your cue ball position. For this test, I'll be using the same ball positions and speed while only changing pocket sheet. I'll mark the resulting cue ball positions so we can see the full range of cue ball distance for each shot. Since pocket sheet is greatly affected by how close the ball is to the pocket, I'll be repeating this with closer shots as seen here. It is absolutely crucial that every shot be done with the exact same speed. But who in the world is consistent enough to do that? Now it's time to introduce you to the world's most consistent player, Shane the Stint Meter. Weighing in at only 7 ounces, Shane is the world champion in consistency and is up for the challenge ahead of showing us consistent shots with the same speed. This is a tool I made specifically for this video so I can reduce human error when testing pocket cheat effects. To quickly demonstrate how consistent Shane is, here are three balls nearly frozen to the end rail. In order to get a clear visual of the range that cheating the pocket can have, I will be setting the object ball at each part of the pocket, the right edge, the middle of the pocket, and the left edge, and each cue ball position will be marked when it stops rolling. Let's begin with the first shot at the right edge of the pocket. I am marking the cue ball with the red one so we can compare all three positions in a moment. Let's continue to the next shot where the object ball gets sent toward the center of the pocket. To visually indicate where the cue ball goes on a center pocket hit, I'm replacing it with a yellow ball. Now we'll see where the cue ball lands using the left edge. Looking at the three positions, you can see that if you were aiming at the center of the pocket but accidentally made the ball somewhere else, you could find yourself short or long of your target position. And just for fun, I measured the distance between the two red balls and found the range to be about 14 inches. Let's repeat the process all over again but with an object ball closer to the pocket. As the object ball gets closer to the pocket, the range that pocket cheating can have becomes much greater. The range for this shot went over double the distance to 31 inches. That means that even though you made the ball, you can have a wildly different cue ball position. I'm now moving the ball a little closer, so we should expect an even greater range than before. The range on this shot is nearly the length of the table. The total range more than doubled again at 64 inches. Now for the final position where the object ball is hanging in the pocket. The last shot was tricky since it forces the cue ball to scratch, but you can still easily see the difference. The range now covers more than the length of the entire table. It's crazy to think that every shot during this video had the exact same speed. I'm hoping that seeing these wide ranges will serve as an eye-opener into the important skill of pocket sheet. 
Here's a very basic example of when it can be helpful to use pocket sheet in an end game scenario. I have to pocket the last solid and get the cue ball anywhere on the right half of the table for the eight ball on the side. Without paying any attention to where I hit the solid, I hit it too full, which slows the cue ball way down. Unfortunately, I left myself short and a harder situation to win the game. This time, I plan on using less speed and cheating the ball to the right side of the pocket. This allows a thinner hit, which means the cue ball retains more speed after contact. I am able to achieve a winning cue ball position with a fraction of the effort. Pocket cheat effects vary greatly depending on pocket size, distance to the pocket, and speed, just to name a few. This video is intended to give a general sense of how big the cue ball range can be on an average shot. I hope this video was an eye-opener for some. Like I mentioned previously, I have put some links in the description on how to effectively use pocket sheet in many more scenarios. If you know someone that can benefit from seeing this, please consider sharing, and as always, I hope you shoot well and have fun.